Welcome back to another episode of DIY Golf Car Garage. Today we're going to be working on a 2010 Club Car present and we're going to be doing a controller exchange. So, I got the golf car, let's go grab some tools and get started. Now before we get started, always remember, gloves, no jewelry, and safety glasses. Cannot be too careful. Now, what we want to do is go ahead and remove our battery hold downs. Loosen some battery terminals and take a couple of cables off. We need to set these two batteries out so that we can get under here where the actual controller is. But before we get started, let's go ahead and put it into tow. Okay, now with my T40, we will take this bolt out. Now we can just lift and tilt forward. Now we've got this board here pulled forward. Before you start just pulling wires off, just so they'll know where they go back, either mark them, label them, or if you have a camera phone, take a quick picture. That way you'll have something later on to look back at and know where everything goes. Now, we'll pull these off. Now for the big terminals. Now for the three bolts that are holding it down. And there's our controller. We can tell here this is a stock one. Let's say 250 amp. So let's go get this thing cleaned up so we can get it mounted back on. Okay, we've got our controller back. It's nice and clean. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and remount it. As with all of them, make sure you just get it, all of them in a little bit. Never tighten one down before you get all of them in. Okay, now for the large cables. The green yellow goes on first. The green yellow is our battery positive. Next goes on the white, which goes on the M minus or the motor negative, which goes to A2 of the motor. And the last of the large ones, B minus or battery negative. This comes straight from my battery. Okay, now for the spades. Blue and the orange. Now that all our connections are secure, I'm going to take this panel and mount it back here. Well, I hope today's episode and showing you how to change out an OEM controller was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And once again, thank you for visiting us here at DIY Golf Car Garage. <music>